you know anybody or think that there's anybody on the left that can beat Trump in the general election. If you have a legitimate election where votes are cast and it, one vote, one whatever, just saying, right, how the whole system works. Uh -huh. And I go and put my vote down. There you go, ma'am. Thank you so much. Boom, 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 boom. Who, who, now that you have Biden in office and you have that juxtaposition and you see what he has done and been a total abysmal failure, nor did I expect anything else because he doesn't have the business acumen or the experience. He's not a CEO. He's not a businessman. He is a failed career politician of 50 years sponging off the backs of the taxpayers. That guy, that dog don't hunt. Okay, Agreed. there we go. Then you got Kamala Harris, who I worked with in the DA's office. All right, now the whole world knows what I already knew, okay? That she is completely incapable, incompetent, and actually kind of fright night terrifying at times. Like, it's not good. The cackling laugh and whatever. Halloween should just come one time a year. Didn't she not even get one delegate? And then Gavin, woohoo! Who wants any of this? I think you want California? Kamala didn't even get one delegate, right? Yeah. Tulsi Gabbard got one. Yeah pretty sure i like her the only well, person so, i think could beat trump is michelle obama i don't, I don't even know, know if she has it. any aspiration to even do it but she's just famous and has that name right there were people like michelle obama or Oprah i don't even Winfrey. know if i buy Oprah. that anymore because we're in such a highly politicized time the obamas succeeded like vastly on the idea that we just didn't talk about how bad things were at the time and if you're not politically aware and you're not paying attention to what's going on you just assume that everything is going good and i think that is partially to do with the fact that the media pushed what we would call now globalism but was a neoliberal policies on the world so you just assumed if you weren't paying attention to politics right. that everything was going good the world isn't like that anymore no. we're highly we're highly highly divided right now i think if the election were held right now donald trump would win Based on the economy, uh, and that's the, the, the biggest factor, based on what's going on with Ukraine, the wars, we're at a point What where, happened in Afghanistan? Oh absolutely. And, and, abysmal, and people have already forgotten about failure. that. And, and, and Trump said all of this was going to happen yeah. when he was campaigning. And, and here we are now. I think it's, you, you can get a Joe Biden in when no one knows what to expect. But now we know exactly what to expect, and it's apocalyptic. Mm. Trump's going to walk in and be like, remember 2019? Remember the economy? Remember how much money you made? I'm going to bring it back. And they're going to be like, yes, please. He's also going to be like, and remember graphene? To that, graphene? To that, to that <laughs> Dude, point. This is it. With all, the, uh, with all the talk about Ron DeSantis, I don't see him being able to get anywhere near close. Here, here's the deal. Ron DeSantis, uh, you know, uh, if I got, you know, and his wife. God Good job him. in Florida. I know, yeah, I know them very well. Don Jr. and I and the president campaigned, uh, you know, vigorously for them, raising money, all of the above, when he was very down at the bowl. So Trump's just like, bro, like I helped you out. You know, I did a great job for you. You were gonna lose to this freak show guy down there and I helped you and you know, God bless. How about this? Be smart, be a strategist. You're doing a good job in Florida. Why don't you continue to actually do your job in Florida? Trump is gonna run. He smashed 16 insanely qualified candidates in 2016. I mean, smashed them to living hell, okay? Uh -huh. Hilariously. Hilariously. <laughs> I mean, it's like, oh, that one low energy jab, he just fell off the stage, like whatever. And then now you're going to think you're going to go in. You're not. Like, I'm telling you, this guy, and I was the first one to support him at Fox because I knew the man. Like I said, you know, he's my friend for 18 years. I know the measure of the guy. I know what he's capable of. I know that he is somebody that you're not going to be able to, like, defeat. You can't break this guy. You cannot, yep. no matter what happens. I it's like he's made from a different whole kind of, like, DNA. Why but, don't you just run, like, do your office and then run, be the appointed one of the, you know, MAGA movement, et cetera, et cetera, the populist movement, the America First movement, instead of now, you're putting yourself up in front of a firing squad of people who are literally so pro-Trump because Trump actually did a good job. We don't well, have to wonder a, about the job that he did. A, he did a great job. Do you want someone going in there with, like, you know, like training wheels on to try to fix this mess that they made or do you want a guy that you know that can actually do the job and kick ass what, someone what, who's respected what about from VP? a national security perspective okay because the rest of them are making a joke out of us look at north korea look at crazy uh, you know little rocket man he's going nuts uh you know vlad vlad cat's going nuts no one cares they're like laughing at the united states and nato's like blah, 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 blah. no one cares because there's nobody of any substance whatsoever this guy was sitting there talking about chop chocolate chip ice cream when children were murdered is that the leader you want in the white house that's what i'm saying